Apparently, they only serve the pog juice for breakfast, but our waitress came through and she was able to get us not just a glass, but a carafe of jungle juice. I'm Shout out to Kathy, awesome server here at Tusker House. This is starting out pretty well. Just making magic from the second making we sat down. All the magic. You gotta love it. Beautiful Daisy, looking good. Donald was just was just over here. He couldn't stop talking about you. All right. So after we get our drinks, the first course at Tusker House is sort of like a bread service, not like Sana, but it is is definitely some sort of bread service. So we've got uh, house made breads is what they call it on the menu. Um, our our cast member waitress Kathy said that it was like an Indian style chip and then there's some house made rolls and then there's some coriander chutney there's mango chutney and red pepper hummus and then we also have a salad with a citrus vinaigrette and they actually have onions tomatoes and it looks like a couple peppers in there as well that are also tossed in the citrus vinaigrette so we're gonna give these a whirl and we'll let you know how they are As you can see from this board, those chips were absolutely terrible. We did not like them at all. So, Just kidding. So that, that roasted pepper hummus was amazing. The mango chutney was awesome. Even the coriander chutney was really good. And this chip actually tasted kind of like a giant Pringle, as our friend Rob, who's with us, said. Um, it was really, really good. The rolls were really soft. They weren't warm, but they were really soft, so they were definitely fresh. They were the perfect size, too. They were nice and small. But the main course is that now and check out the shape of the dishes. Isn't that magical? <laughs> so in here, we've got some roasted chicken. We've got some rice under there. We've got some pork. We've got some roasted potatoes. What was the other thing you did? So we've also had the Cape Malay green curry shrimp. And then for sides, we have the mac and cheese. We have the green beans with carrots and corn. We've got roasted potatoes, jasmine rice, and that is are gonna be our main course. This is the best mac and cheese on property. If it's the same mac and cheese that we had back in February 2020 before the closure. And we hear it is. So, we're gonna enjoy this food, and then we're gonna to talk to you all about it as soon as we're done. Hey, Goofy! How you doing today? You hungry? Look at this, come on over. <laughs> if I throw some to you, can you eat it? <laughs> you got a big belly? Yeah, I hear you there. <laughs> Bye, Gooby. that was brought out for us. So we have a couple of things. We have a cupcake with buttercream frosting. It's got little Mickey ears on it to represent, of course, the mouse. And then we have a brownie here. Um, we were told it was very rich and very delicious, but um, this is actually supposed to represent the tree of life. You got that little, a little green, the little tree. And then last we have a flourless cake and um, I believe the flavor is lemon. And the reason that there's a bee on it is because in Africa, what they found is the humane way to keep animals away from crops 
is to release honeybees. And the reason that it keeps the elephants away is actually because elephants are afraid of honeybees. And so um, we have a very nice like lineup of desserts and we're super excited to try them. So the worst time of any meal is when you get the check, but when you open up the check at Tusker House, check out what they put inside. We got a little autograph card with Donald, Daisy, Goofy, and Mickey. It says Animal Kingdom and Tusker House on it. You flip it back over. And it's because the characters used to be able to sign things, and since they can't, you get all of them at once. That's super fun. It's just a... Uh, fun artist rendering of them uh, cooking up a storm in the kitchen here at Tusker House. Look how hard they work to make our meal. Right? <laughs> Be sure to thank them on the way out. Definitely. That'll do it for our day here at Tusker House at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It did just open a couple of days ago. It is back open. It is no longer buffet style like we said, but it is now family style, but the food is still just as delicious. So right now they're, they're operating at 60% capacity and what we were told is that every week they're going to open it up a little bit more. Um, they're, they've got a, a smaller capacity when it comes to some of their cast members, so they're bringing more cast members in. And the in. kitchen staff. Yeah, the kitchen staff. So but, they, but people are coming back to work and that's a really good thing. It's so amazing and what a great experience. Um, the characters are coming around, they're spending time with you. Yeah. Um, I will say one thing about this post-COVID character uh, experiences is that you do see a lot more of the characters near you yes. which is great because before you used to kind of see him once you might catch him twice before the end of your meal but that was basically it but i think we saw uh donald daisy mickey and goofy probably three or four times each oh absolutely and every time they came through they would interact with us we got to see them come through and dance to the songs that the restaurant was playing as you saw earlier in the video it's it, it's such a great thing to do and honestly I cannot recommend coming to Tusker House enough. The food was great, uh, all the meats were delicious, the salads, the breads at the beginning were great, the desserts were really tasty, super rich but very tasty. Yes. Um, all around great experience here at Tusker House. It's the first time we've come since post-COVID so that was really exciting to get back here to the place that has the best mac and cheese on Disney property. Oh my gosh, so good. Now, what do you think was your favorite thing out of the meal? Uh, I would say probably the pork. The pork was so flavorful and so juicy. Um, that was definitely the star of the meats for sure. One thing I didn't expect to love so much were those chips at the beginning. It was like, oh, a, yeah? like our friend Rob said, it was like a giant Pringle. Yeah. And with the, uh, the two different chutneys and the hummus that they that gave you to try with it, fantastic flavors that you don't really get anywhere else here on property. Yeah, I think that my favorite was, I really enjoyed the beginning, uh, the, the starters, and the salad was so good. The salad was good. That vinaigrette the dressing citrus was, vinaigrette. Yeah, it was so good, yeah. and I didn't expect to like it that much. And then I would say that my favorite was the shrimp with the curry. The shrimp was excellent. Another thing I didn't think I was going to love, but oh my gosh, so flavorful, so delicious. Now, a lot of times when you hear the word curry, you're like, ooh, ooh, is that really spicy? But it's like Disney spicy. It's not yeah. going to knock your socks off spicy, but it has enough of a kick to, has a very unique flavor. It's, so, it's just so flavorful. Yeah. So that shrimp curry was excellent. That's a great point. I almost forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, because I was looking at the, the giant pan of meat that was in front of me <laughs> with the steak and the and the chicken yeah. and the potatoes and the uh, and the pork which is I in my opinion the star of the dish yeah one thing that I do want to say is until or if they ever bring buffets back I'm sure they will but who knows um, family style is definitely the way to go everything just tastes hotter and fresher when it comes yeah. out to you too well also some of the places that were previously buffets uh, now you pick one entree yeah. and that's all you get and which is fine serving size wise. However, if you're not sure what you want and if you get something that maybe you're like, eh, that was okay, um, you're kind of stuck with it. Right. Where with family style, you know, you're able to try everything and then they bring you out more of the things that you want. And right. 
I mean, how can you beat that? Especially if you're going to have like a full table full of people. And especially if you're going to pay the price that you're paying for these character experiences. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's not cheap, but you do definitely get your money's worth and we are full enough to probably roll us home. So yeah. all in all, great experience here at Tusker House. I had a blast. Um, our friend Rob said he had a great time. Um, I was glad for him to join us here. It was a last second edition, so that was nice. Um, but yeah, like I said, all in all, great experience. Kathy, our server, was fantastic. Um, really quick, I just want to give her a shout out because she was so excellent that they only offer the jungle juice, or aka pog juice, that's offered around property, the, you know, the passion fruit orange guava, uh, only at breakfast time. Yeah, I didn't and know that. She, we didn't know that because we love that pog juice and we come here you know, just to get that sometimes. And she had said that you only get it for breakfast, but you know, let me see what I can do. And sure enough, she came back with three glasses and a carafe. We actually went through two carafes we did. during we did, our, because our we lunch. love it so much. Yeah. But she didn't have to do that. So shout out to Kathy. She was a great server. So amazing. Ask for her if you're here. Um, definitely uh, let her know that Bill and Danny, the park hoppers, sent you. Um, but let's wrap it up here from Tusker House. Uh, I'd say, you know, a solid 8.5, 9 out of 10 experience today um how about you i would say nine out of ten if i had yeah. to rate it um a couple of things that i want to make sure that we touch on is guys make sure that you subscribe and like here on youtube and then on all of our social media platforms i just want to let you guys know that there's so much exciting stuff coming for the 50th yes and so that's october 1st um we are going to be uh there getting as Magic much content for you as possible yeah and we're gonna be at magic kingdom when happily ever after comes back so make sure you like and subscribe make sure you get those notifications so you don't miss any of the magical moments that we're going to make sure that we are there for and to bring you along with us so with that said we are out from disney's animal kingdom today thank you to tusker house for an amazing experience and until next time we'll see you around the parks